the headlines, the issues impacting you, all on This Week in Cincinnati on 9 in Your Side. Our campaign was premised on the legislation that I'd actually gotten passed that's helping Ohio workers, helping Ohio families right now. That's what they wanted to hear about. They didn't want to hear a bunch of, you know, political talk. They wanted to know, what have you done for me and what's your vision going forward? And so I'm hopeful that Democrats and Republicans and alike, alike will understand that this is the right thing to do and it's not bad politics. Welcome back, everyone. In addition, of course, to the presidential race, important local races were decided on Tuesday. Xavier Political Science uh, Professor Sean Comer, WCPO political reporter Paula Christian joining us uh, once again. Uh, just coming out of the, the Strickland-Portman bites there, uh, as we know, the Strickland campaign had money yanked weeks before the election. No surprise here that, that Portman was most likely going to be reelected. Yeah, well, I, th I think you can look no further than Hamilton County and see a county that went Democrat in a lot of ways for the president down to the commissioner and the clerk of courts. You know, Strickland failed to you know, garner more than 42 percent of the vote. Right. So that race was you know, decided whether you were in the rural areas or yeah. in urban. I mean, the Associated Press called the race within minutes of the polls even closing. <laughs> right. By the polls close at 730, Portman is on the stage in Columbus at 8. I mean, it, it was a complete blowout, as everybody expected. All eyes were on Hamilton County, the Hamilton County Commissioner's race. Uh, we had four people running, three positions, and uh, we're talking about Democrat control uh, now uh, with, with the commission. How does this change things when you're talking about MSD issues and the county overall? Well, it's only the second time in 50, more than 50 years that it's been in Democratic control. Mm -hmm. And now for the first time as you know, the MSD contract is ending and negotiations are coming up, you have the same political party controlling the city and the county. And that could have been, you know, part of the reason for some of the, how they've butted heads in the past. That will be the big issue to watch in 2017 is MSD. Um, now, the Democrats insist that uh, with Denise Driehaus and Todd Portoon and the majority on the commission, that there won't be the same bitter fighting between the county and the city that we've seen the last couple of years because two controlling entities, both Democrats. But that's remained to be seen. Uh, I mean, especially heading into the mayoral race in 2017, different factions of Democrats running against each other. Uh, I am not convinced that we've seen an end to the fighting, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Time will tell yeah. on that. Let's talk about a, a relative uh, unknown here, Aftab Purival. Uh, his, his campaign ad did catch people's ear. He used his first name, referenced basically, uh, I parallel it to the Aflac commercials. Yeah. I guess you would really have to study to see if that played a major impact or if uh, Tracy Winkler's campaign just didn't do enough to, to get the word out. What is, what is your takeaway from this particular clerk of courts race? Well, I mean, AFTAP did a, a really great job of taking a funny sounding name mm -hmm. and using it to his advantage. In the primary, he was polling far behind other Democrats and strategists guessed that it was just because of his name. It was so unfamiliar. So he brilliantly took it and, and ran with it um, and made these great spoof commercials uh, that really appealed to voters. Um, and I think it also showed that TV ads work, um, that they reached a lot of voters. Yeah, and I think you know, he spent a ton of time campaigning, you know, mm -hmm. weekends and evenings. But it also shows the sort of the shift in Hamilton County and how it's changed over the years. And looking at election results going back to the early 90s and coming up until now, you can see how it's become more Democratic and less Republican as people have moved out. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, this, this is the type of race that really demonstrates that and may change the type of people who will come out in the future to run for office on the Democratic side. All right. We have a lot more to come still. And this week in Cincinnati, we'll be right back.